Well, let me click on the back one real quick here. Give it a little bit of an alpha. Just go to the properties. Go to where? Color effect. Go to alpha. And we'll just make it a little bit less. And, you know, kind of put alpha on there. There you go. There's a little background there. Kind of stylistic. Go back. And there we are. Let's bring these back now. And I actually want it not on the top. I want this to be behind everything. How do I make things go behind? Move it to the bottom. I just click on the layer and what? Drag it to the bottom. The bottom layer is behind. I'm looking for it. Where did I put it? It's way up here. There you go. Sometimes you don't know what something is. Just turn it invisible. Then you can figure out what it is. So bring it down to the bottom if you didn't name it. And let it go. And there it's behind everything. And that's looking pretty cool, isn't it? And I didn't have to work very hard to get there, did I? You know, and so with these dra graphical tools, you can really start to make some fantastic stuff. Do you agree? Yep. Cool. Now, all right, so I've showed you the pen tool. I've showed you the deco tool. I've showed you the straight line. I've showed you curved straight lines. I've showed you the, uh, the transform tools. I just showed you tons and tons of stuff. But what I'd like to show you now is how to animate with a click of a button. You know, we're going to learn how to do build custom animations in this class. But before we do that, we're going to teach you how to build animations that are already preset so here they are right here the preset animations uh, where are they well if you don't see them here in this palette right here then just go to where is your favorite place where do you find things window window go to window and let's look for something that says preset motion presets there you go and here they are now I don't like it here so I'm gonna come dock it over here ah come on do this right dock it here and there's my motion preset. So you click on that, you can have a motion preset. I'm going to animate my base. So I'm going to choose one of my motion presets. We're going to make it bounce. So I'm put it, and that gives you an example of what it's going to do. I, I'm going to click on my base here. Going to click the motion preset. Going to put a bounce on it. Going to apply that bounce to the, to, to the base itself. Hit yes. And now I'm going to, hopefully it was applied. Was it applied? Let's hit Control Enter. There it goes. Oh. Off the screen. Oh. Off the screen. Oh. Off the screen. So what I want you guys to do is to figure out something, all right? Now, I didn't quite like the way that went. So I actually want to go do something else real quick here. You, you saw that. Uh, that just totally messed up my vase scene. This is not going to be a proper Valentine's card for my wife, is it? a vase that falls off the screen. But last time we were working with something that would be proper for animation. Do you guys remember what that is? Remember I said that we were going to do this last time? Do you remember what it was? We were going to make those doors open and shut. So you're actually going to spend some time here trying to figure out on your own how to make the doors open and shut and you can teach me, teach me how to do it after, after I take my next break. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that animation, or find that uh, thing right here. Where is it? Where did we put that last time? Yeah, okay, we found it. Okay, so last time you guys promised me, or I promised you that I'd show you how to animate, and I just did, with a click of a button. But I'm expecting you guys to be able to apply that, right? Okay, so I want you to put this animation on this door and cause these doors to move apart. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Just go to your presets and look for something that might do that. Hey, let's see here. Um... Here's a fly in blur left, fly in blur right, you know, fly in left. I don't want to fly in, what do I want to do? Fly out left, let's look at that. Look at that, that's the wrong direction, isn't it? So let's control Z that. I want it to go the other one, fly out right. So that's looking good. So if I select that door right there and I hit preset and I hit fly out right, that looks right, right? Hit OK. And now what I have here is an animation curve. Look at that. That's going to show me a curve right there that's going to animate. So if I come along here and do that, hoo-hoo, look at that. Hoo-hoo, look at that. Hoo-hoo, look at that. So I want you guys to play around with this and figure out what you're going to do. Now, there's a problem here, though, isn't there? What's the problem? The problem is it fades out. I don't want my door to fade out. How would I change that? Go to Properties and change my alpha to what? See, that's your animation curve right there. You see that curve right there? That's your animation curve. At the beginning of your curve, you got a full alpha, 100%. At the end, it's 0%. So how do I change that? Well, at the beginning, I have 100%. I'm happy with that. At the end, I have 0%. What do I want to do? Put right, click on that and change it to 100%. Now I have a door that's not fading away. And look how fast that was. Wow, you thought this was going to be hard? No, it's really easy. Let's control test this and see what happens. Or control enter. 
there's your animation. Hoo -hoo, too cool. Now it's 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 moving on from there, right? So there's a lot more work to do, but that's how you start animating. So let me and once you learn how to do this, you know, in the next course, probably in the next two lessons, we're going to show you how you build custom animations. All right. So what I want you guys to do is take what I showed you and see if you get both doors going apart. And if you just want to cut it off at that tween where it opens and you just see the elephant, that's cool. So let's stop right here.